Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our legacy challenge. It is the morning time right now and I'm not used to filming in the morning so I apologize if my energy is a little bit low today. But I've got major cozy vibes going on. I got my favorite hoodie on. I have Olive with me here today. She's laying on her blue blankie. She's passed out. <laughs> She has this morning routine where she is super energetic in the morning. She'll eat her breakfast and then she'll come in here in my mom's room and just sleep. Just dead asleep for hours. So it's like she expels all her energy at once and then is really, really tired afterwards. <laughs> but yeah, I have a couple hours to kill before I have to do something today. So I thought, why not film? I do have a Celsius today. I've got Fuji Apple Pear. If you missed my last two videos, I bought a 12 pack of this <laughs> and I'm really enjoying it because I was so tired of the peach ones. We have a lot to do today so let's get into it. Cheers to you. Cheers to this video. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, you guys back in the legacy household. We are I did download meaningful stories I also downloaded base mental alcohol and Some a different mod that should help my sims when they just stand around randomly because that was like really really pissing me off Especially with this save file. I think it's just this lot. Oh my god. It's so freaking sunny again <laughs> Okay, let me pause really quick and have a look at the calendar so today is Luna's birthday, right? So we need to max her writing skill before she ages up. I guess that's not technically true. We can leave her in the household until she maxes her writing skill because she can still do it as a young adult. We just need her to max it before we move her out. And then the day after that, we have air day. So that means we have to do something that, um, that the previous heirs like to do. So Savannah liked to garden, Max liked to be mischievous, and Olive likes to play games. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do the next day and I think probably for Charlie we will do like be lazy or play sim scuffle or something or stare at the garden cart I'm not sure but <laughs> uh, when he passes away we need to add something for him and then we've got Halloween so we can have a Halloween party and then we have Bruce's birthday which is also very exciting so yeah I'm stoked you guys I'm very very excited to be here playing <laughs> I miss this family so much it looks like Charlie's having himself a Swim? Swim laps. This just doesn't look right. The pool is like way too small for this vigorous of swimming. <laughs> He looks very, very happy though. He's definitely not a lazy sim anymore. Maybe we should get him a, a retrading potion or something. Okay, Miss Wren, I'm gonna need you to come over here and take care of the plant loans, supercell all of them. And <laughs> there were a few good, a few of you guys in the comments who do want Wren to be an actress and to like try to get her to be a five-star celebrity. I think that's pretty cool. I think. I think she's pretty perfect for it. And it would be super cool to have like a famous sim as well. Oh my gosh, 30,000 for 48 orchids. That's crazy. And 19,000 for the rest of the orchids and all the plants over here too. Woo! Dang, these plants though. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so for Charlie, let's see. We were working on his comedy skill but he already maxed it. So I think it would be kind of cool if we could like go to a club or something where he could um, like perform his comedy routine and we could all be there to support him. Oh yeah, we work on his fitness with the basketball hoop. His parenting skills getting pretty up there. He actually maxed a lot of skills. I'm proud of him. And then for Stella, have you maxed that wellness skill yet? Not yet, but holy cannoli, you're like right there. So let's just get that done. All right, and then Zoe, I know that we're just focusing on her. Nice. I know that we're just focusing on her uni stuff. Jeez. Oh my gosh, Paul is asking us on a date. So many of you guys want Paul to be with Zoe, and I think it's so funny. I think I might have to do a poll. <sighs> okay, yeah, let's just go. I think I might have to do a poll because half of you guys want Ranji. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then half of you guys want Paul. So I think the easiest thing to do is a poll. And honestly, like, if I liked one more than the other, I would just choose myself, but I can't, I can't choose. Oh, it's pouring and you took us to an outdoor cinema. Nice. I don't understand that logic at all. Is there anything un in, I guess we could like 
Shoot. I mean, none of these tables are have a overhang over them. Um. Oh. 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 She autonomously did this. Okay. She, she. This date just keeps getting better. Oh my gosh. They're just like kissing in the rain. I mean, cute, but like, ah. Uh... Oh God. What do you have to do? Bad time, Felix. Horrible time. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't believe- they just autonomously did this. Oh, and Stella's here. Stella, why are you here? Oh, you guys said that Stella had a sad sentiment with one of the ghosts? Doesn't it usually, like, show up? Like, a border around? I don't see anything, so I don't know. I really don't know what that sentiment's from. Chasing Clouds 12, thanks for the follow. Can you- just keep moving, lady. Keep moving. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. Oh my god, how embarrassing. Oh god, we have two people watching! Okay. Oh, well, that's awkward. I can't believe they did that. I mean, I guess I can believe it. They still, like, really like each other, apparently. Did he leave? Oh no, he's in the bathroom. What's he doing? Oh my gosh, is he like giving himself a little pep talk? That's actually quite sweet. I have to say. He's like calming himself down after that random bush woohoo session in the rain. I don't know, man. Is that romantic or? <laughs> okay, I'm going to get everyone home because that was a nice time. I'll call you maybe. Yeah, you better. You freaking better. I would stick around, but it's like thunderstorming. No one wants to be in an outdoor cinema during a thunderstorm. Well, that was a way to open up this episode, huh? Oh, Zoe. Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. Welcome home, you guys. Okay, Stella, um, what are you gonna do? Swim around sadly? Nah. Okay, these meaningful stories notifications are getting really annoying. It's like every two seconds. All right, Charlie, well, let's, um, dude, what, why does, why does everyone have these? Festering bitterness from being someone who do you have a grudge against i don't see anything is it stella no you guys don't have any sentiments together i'm gonna get him to do some parenting with uh leslie here let's teach her to say sorry and then why blame for the pain that ugh. That's so annoying. I don't even know what the heck's going on. That must be a glitch. Oh, look, Kyla's here. Hey, girl. Thanks for coming by and visiting. Zoe will remember this date. Had woohoo. Pleasantly satisfied. Date success. Maybe she really does like Paul. When do you have class next, girl? Three days, two days, three days, two days. Okay, so you are, you have a weekend. But what do we need to get done though? Three days left. Oh shoot, okay. So she needs to do her term paper for magnets and mechanics. I'm gonna get her to do that. Play My Sims Co. Um, sounds fun, but nah, I need you to do something productive. And do we have a cake for Luna? I think the green tea matcha cake would be perfect for her. Oh yes, we do, we have one. Fantastic, all right. Yes, who's calling Luna? Feel a little stiff today. Dude, you tried to invite Zoe. <laughs> the same thing earlier. Oh, no, we're trying to max our riding skill. I'm sorry. Maybe some other time. I am getting Bruce to max his motor skill. So that's what he's doing right now on the monkey bars. I really love Luna a lot. I'm gonna miss her so much when we move her out. She's just a vibe. Look at that. Oh, I love the purple. She's so cute. <laughs> ah, gonna miss her. Yes, Stella, you did it. You freaking did it. You maxed the wellness skill finally. And Luna finished writing her book. Oh my gosh, yes. I am so proud of you. Lord of the dance pose, let's see what that's about. And my darling, 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 
Can you just... Ooh, should we write a love email to Giovanna? Let's do that. That sounds fun. All right, let's see this pose, Stella. Wow. Corpse pose? Okay, I gotta see that. That, that's corpse pose. <laughs> that takes like no skill at all. I do corpse pose every day. Okay, um, so Zoe finished her first draft of her term paper. Do not brew a de-stressing de concoction. No, I need you to edit your paper. She's blasting music again. She's one of those people that, um, that listens to really loud music when she studies or does homework. That could never be me. Let's teach Bruce to say please and thank you. Oh, and Luna, 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 Luna. I'm sorry, but I really need you to keep writing. Ooh, let's do a fantasy book. I think that would be perfect. And let's see. Luna has discovered a lifestyle that was previously hidden. View the lifestyle menu. Okay, let's see. Single and loving it. Oh, I've never seen that before. Sims living a single and loving it lifestyle happily enjoy the single life and savor their independence. To acquire or maintain this lifestyle, avoid being in a committed romantic relationship. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't get her together with, um, with Giovanna then. Maybe it should just, like, I should just let her do whatever she wants organically after we move her out. Rough rough hewn sword maidens and brawny warrior men okay yeah do it hey babe are you busy i miss you i want to see you can you come over right now oh I, I mean we would but we're kind of getting our energy up right now later though you can come over for luna's birthday are you still teaching him to say please and thank you okay good oh you're really focusing on that he's like you gotta manifest it you know really think in your head please and thank you Okay, dad. They're so cute. Definite father-son vibes, huh? I love them. I hope he's like the spitting image of Charlie when he ages up. Oh, it's like super late. That's fun. Okay, well, I guess we should probably age up Luna then. Let's, um, let's go ahead and start a gathering with her friends. Let's... Okay, let's start this gathering as well. What does Stella have? Does she have any clubs? Conjuring club. I forgot about that club. <laughs> um, okay, let's start a friends gathering with her. Let's start a gathering with the vampire club. And yeah, everyone will be here, I think. Oh, we gotta invite Kieran, actually. <gasps> Dorian, you're here! I can't believe he's still alive. He has lived a very long life. Is he an elder? Yeah, he is. We should probably give him an elder makeover. He looks so young. Yeah, Stella, good idea. Let's get some food out as well for everybody. We have, okay, we have veggie burgers. We have um, bagels. I think that's good enough. We got a bunch of distressing concoctions. Wait, what's this? Banana bread, lots of bread. That's fine though. Zoe paper looking good at this point. Further editing won't improve it though. It may help Zoe grasp the material a bit better. Yeah, I think you should probably just, I think you should probably just like turn it in. All right, girl. Well, I think you're good for the day. Let's go ahead and submit the paper and then you can come out here and hang out with everybody. Celebrate Luna's birthday. Hello. Who is this again? Oh yeah, Chris Osborne. Zamba. All right, Luna. So why don't you shoot? Should we let her finish writing her book first before we let her blow out the candles? It's almost 2 a.m. I'm a little bit scared. Okay, you can finish your book later. Come over here. Um, make a wish. Everyone come over here and celebrate. All right, loons. Loons, loons, loons. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Luna. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, her last trait. I'm not ready. Let's see what her last trait's gonna be. I'm not ready. I'm not freaking ready. I hope it's something good. I hope it lines up. Clumsy, okay. <laughs> She's, Stella's really passing down that clumsy trait. Holy cannoli, okay, sure. 
I love that trait. I think it's really cute, but it doesn't really do much for their personality, you know? All right, Luna. There you go. Happy birthday, queen. Alice sent Luna a gift. Cute. Isn't Alice here? I guess maybe we should call Tamil, have everyone eat. It's so late. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this family, I swear. Come and eat. We got veggie burgers and matcha cake. Uh, Yovana? I wonder since Luna sent Giovanna a love email. Oh my gosh, yes, it did give them a little bit of romance. Oh, cute. Love that for you. Why do you have such a negative relationship with Gulliver? I think that's your cousin, right? Kieran, why are you shirtless? Yay, everyone's eating! Love to see it! Can we get some music, Mr. Fridge? She is cute, you guys. I can totally see why you want her to be with Luna. <laughs> I 100% get it. Dude, who trashed our bathroom? My goodness. What's going on in here, guys? Alice! Lovely to see you. Leslie is going through... Oh, shoot. The bear suit phase. Oh, no. Discuss being pansexual versus bisexual? That's cool. We should totally do that. You know what? I was also thinking, oh god, someone's haunting our um, sp smart speaker. <laughs> I was thinking maybe before we get Luna out of the closet, we could have her talk to Ren about it. Uh, we could have her talk to Ren about it because Ren is the only one in the family that um, like has a different sexuality. And then maybe Ren will like convince her to come out. I think that would be cool. Look at them. They're like the spitting image of each other. Look at little Bruce back there. He's so cute. Oh, oh no, the dreaded clay is back. Dang! Go, Charlie! Go, Charlie! Oh, shoot, where'd he go? <laughs> he was really getting down back there. Wow. Oh my god, what is happening? She was just being mean to Giovanna for some reason. Luna, that's not how you get someone to like you. Yell at? Stop! Stop, 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 stop! What the heck are they fighting about? <sighs> okay, get out of there. Just get out of there. All right, it's 6 a.m. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the club gatherings. Send everyone home. Caleb never, never showed up. I swear I started a vampire club gathering. What the heck? There's just way too much to keep track of. I swear. Look, everything's ready to be harvested again. Holy cannoli. So that'll uh, mark this off for air day for the gardening portion. Um, What is she doing? Play refugee? Oh my gosh. She really likes playing games, guys. And blasting music. <laughs> what else do we need to do for uni? Do homework... Give presentation. Crap, she should probably start that. And Luna finished her second book. What's this from? Feeling hot-headed from her hot-headed trait. And she wants to kick the trash can. Nope! You have two books that you need to publish, so come out here and do that. Okay, mind over muscle, and then let's also do the fantasy book too. Are you almost to level 10? <gasps> yes! You're almost freaking there! Okay. I'm gonna get you to write another love email to Giovanna because you were being super mean to her at, her at your party for some reason. I just think Luna is extremely... She's extremely emotional about everything. And, uh, yeah, she sometimes lets her emotions get in the way of things. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you're serenading Charlie? You guys are so cute. Express joy of life. Hold hands with him. Oh, I love them so much. I love how in love they are still. Oh, sing it, girl. Mm-hmm. Let him know. She did it! Literal genius. Have a sim reach max level in the writing skill. Oh my gosh. Luna can now write biography and mentor other sims in writing. I am so proud of you. So proud. Ooh, let's do some poetry since she's feeling kind of angry. Um, and then we'll move her out, you guys. We will. We'll pack up her room. <clears throat> move her out with her friends. And then we'll get Stella pregnant again in hopes for twins. One of you guys put in the comments that if uh, Stella has twins, that they should be named Bailey and Bellamy after their grandpa. Grandpa's? Because um, Orange Bailey is Charlie's dad, and then <clears throat> Stella's dad, his name was Trace Bellamy. It is her maiden name, but 
I think that's such a cute idea. Bailey and Bellamy, they just roll off the tongue real nice. Please stop mourning Silas. <laughs> Charlie, can you come over here though and um, talk Leslie through her phase? I feel like that's something that he would do. Look at this poor bean. You're okay. You're okay. I know phases can just be like unbearable sometimes, but... <laughs> Let's just talk about it with her. Why are you talking to her through a wall? I wanted to get a cute screenshot of this, but you're just like making it impossible. <laughs> so, Leslie, tell me about your bear costume. Lie about career. Oh my gosh, this mischief stuff. Please stop. I guess wear, wear bear costume with her so she feels better. I don't really know. There we go. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, what's Stella doing? Having- is this water? Is this water that you have? What you got there? What are you drinking? Hmm, no idea. But Bruce is still working on his motor skill. He's almost- oh, he's maxed it! <gasps> what a good boy! Okay, let's work on your social skill now. Zoe's off to take an angry poop. After you do that- <laughs> oh crap, your laptop broke. Oh, your presentation's looking nice. Uh, let's refine and organize it. She's so pissed off writing angry poetry. I think she's almost done, so we'll be able to publish that too before we head her off. I still can't believe <laughs> Rosie from my Island Living series had a baby with an alien. <gasps> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Come out, come publish your poetry book, and then we'll say bye-bye to you. I can't believe it. You know what we should do is take some photos before you go. I've been slacking on the photos. Oh, look. Um, Felix's wife is offering Stella a job as a gardener at rank four. I could see, I could see it. I can. And Stella does need something to do. You know what? Let's accept it. I think that suits her a bit. Oh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, photos. Congrats on your recent birthday. Thanks, Margaret. Appreciate that. Who has the pictures? Who has the camera? Aw, look at this cute bean. Okay, this is such a cute picture. I'm dead. <laughs> Wait, what? There's a fire? Where? Where? Oh, Patchy! Oh my goodness, someone put it out, please! Someone put it out! Oh no, Patchy, 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 Patchy! Patchy went up in flames like nobody's freaking business. Oh my gosh. Straight up, hey man. Patchy, why are you cooking? You guys, look. Someone is offering Ren the actress career at rank five. It's meant to be. It's freaking meant to be. Yes, except look at us. Sitcom star. Oh my God, we're moving up in the world. Everyone's getting jobs. We're vibing. Okay, uh, let me just take care of this freaking kitchen situation. Holy crap. Zoe's thinking about the woohoo that her and Paul had. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, let's just keep refining and organizing this. What is it? Normal quality? Yeah, definitely refine and organize. Congrats on landing that sweet job. Wow, thanks. Oh, look at her. What are you doing? Dribble. Well, aren't you the cutest little bean ever? But nah, I need you to work on your gardening skill now. This, the state of this is just bad. Everything needs to be watered. Everything needs to be weeded. So please. L Leslie, please stop mourning everybody. You're breaking my heart. You didn't even know these people. Uh, anyway, so back to the photos. I wanted Charlie to take a picture of Luna before he moved her out. All right, let's see, love. Let's see what we got. Let's see what poses. Aww, so cute. We probably should have done this for Felix as well. We can always do it later. She is so cute. I just love her, guys. I don't know what to say. Oh, look at that. Okay, and we should also... Ooh, level three photography. Oh my gosh, Charlie is going to max his photo skill too. Crazy. Let's do one of Luna and Zoe. What's Zoe doing? What the heck? Can I... There we go. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, if they could be any different, I don't think they could be any different. They are just like opposites and I love it. They don't look anything alike. 
This is Stella, by the way. <laughs> That's crazy. What is that? What are you even doing? <laughs> they look like friends. That's how freaking young Stella looks. Well, we got some pictures. Overall, though, it's being pretty glitchy, which is annoying, but I'm gonna get Zoe to come over here and... Oh my gosh, she doesn't have a laptop. Okay, I know what we can do. Stella, uh, I'm gonna buy a laptop and put it in Stella's inventory. And then hopefully we can gift it to Luna for her birthday and for her like moving out gift. I think we should get her a, ooh, do I have a purple laptop? Oh, there's this one. It's not purple, but it's cute. So I think she'll like it. Gonna miss you so much. I know you'll do great things. Oh my gosh. Um, Spend more time, practice makes perfect. <laughs> I got you a gift for your new apartment. Oh yeah, mom, what is it? Let's see it. No! Okay, you guys are going out here to do it? Okay, why? <laughs> here you go! Congratulations on all your success with your writing. I'm so proud of you. You're gonna do great things. Do you like it? <laughs> Thanks, mom. Oh, oh, right, another thing that we wanted to do. Where's Ren at? Okay, she's out here for some reason. I do not know why. Ask for reassurance, aw. Okay, um, so let's, what can we do? Ask about, let's ask Ren about her sexuality. Let's just ask Ren about sexuality and identity. So we can just say, cause I don't, I, w I thought there was like an interaction where you could come out to a sim, but I'm not seeing it. I think we just have to, Stella, this convo ain't for you. So maybe after this conversation with Ren, Luna feels comfortable to come out of the closet. So I am going to go ahead and set her as, let's see, other traits, set as out of the closet. And then what else? What else can we do? Set sexuality as lesbian. Okay, it should show up in her little traits now. I'm out and I'm proud. I don't know why this is still here, but look. Yes, that's so freaking cool. I love this mod so much. That's weird that it shows both. All right. Um, Bruce, how are your skills coming along, little, little guy? Social, what are you gonna do? What's this? Make fall crafts, cute. Why don't you go ahead and chat in kids chat room to get that up? Uh, Charlie, honey, you can take off the bear costume now. <laughs> um, Okay, I'm gonna get everyone to come out here so that we can say goodbye. Everyone's outside, we're all wishing her well. Can we hug her? I just want to like hug her goodbye. Goodbye, love. I know you'll do great things. Everyone come give her a hug. Aww. You guys, this is really, really cute. Leslie's turn. Bye, Luna. Goodbye, love. Okay, who hasn't said goodbye to her yet? I don't think Charlie has. He's probably too sad. But you're gonna have to give her a hug. You're gonna have to wish her well. I'm sorry, even if you don't want to. You have to. Goodbye. Keep in touch. We gotta give her a uh, residence key for sure. Man, this family's silly. They can't ever do anything serious, can they? They have to turn a very serious situation into a prank fest. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. All right, I think everybody hugged her goodbye. So let's go ahead and go to manage worlds and move Luna and her two friends into Samai Shuno, I think, or Del Sol Valley. Probably Samai Shuno. Okay, and I think, shoot, how much should we give her? How much do we give Felix? I don't know, let's just give her 60 grand. So we need to move in, I think her name was Irene. I already forgot. Yeah, Irene. Okay, and then Samai Shuno. I'm thinking probably a cheap apartment for now. Okay, yeah, let's do this three bedroom. This is the same three bedroom that uh, Ricky lives in in my <laughs> Twitch series. I like this apartment though. It's like one of the only three bedroom ones. Okay, unfurnished, I guess. We'll furnish it later. But there you go. Let me just pop in really quick and uh, age up the other two girls and give them all jobs. I don't even think Luna needs a job, does she? Should we give her the writing career? Or should she just like write books and publish them on her own? Young adult, her last trait is hates children. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, and then her last trait is fertile. Okay, she's carefree, a geek, and fertile. Um, I'm gonna say no. 
<laughs> Let's do it again. Romantic, okay, cute. So Irene has the, the computer whiz aspiration. So I'm gonna get her to have the, what is it? What's it called? Tech guru career? And then Giovanna, um, what should we do for her? What does she want? She wants a big happy family. She is romantic, a geek, and carefree. Hmm. I guess we could just decide her life and see what she gets. Okay. Tech guru for you. And then for you, we decide. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Life decider. Decide Giovanna's life. Uh, astronaut. Okay. <laughs> Very cool. And then Luna. Yeah, let's just, let's get her the writing career. Why not? All right. Fantastic. I think she's gonna thrive. Don't you? I mean, she just like, she just suits this. I need to make a club for all the kids that are moving out too. So that every time we want to see them, we can just start a gathering. Also, you guys, if you find that your Sims that you have moved out of your house aren't like having babies or just any Sim really, if they're not having babies on their own when you're not playing with them and you want that, you have to um, unheart them and move them to other households or else um, nothing will happen. So now that Luna's moved out, next order of business is to get Stella pregnant again. And then how many kids will that be? Zoe, Felix, Luna, Bruce, Leslie. And if she has twins, we'll be on seven kids. So we'll just need three more after that. I swear, if we went through all of this trouble and she's still not able to have 10 kids, I'm gonna- I might rage quit. I'm not gonna lie. I might rage quit. 10 days until she's an elder. Okay, we need to get her pregnant like now. With Charlie, four days. If he's an elder, can he still get Stella pregnant? I'm concerned. We gave Stella the, f the fertile thing from the rewards, um, the rewards thing, right? Yes, we did. Okay. <sighs> okay, okay, try for baby. Come on, get it done. Let's go. Oh, she's like, I miss my baby. And Charlie's like, oh, okay, well, let's have more. What do you think? <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, Zoe has her final exam. Um, okay, why are you nauseous? Oh, from anticipation for the final exam. Oh my god, that scared me. Yeah, come on over here. Let's study, uh, study for the fixes in. Okay. She's too uncomfortable to study. Okay, well, throw up, I guess. Hopefully that makes you feel better. No? Okay, there you go. Go study. Go, go, go. Hurry, quickly. Just a little bit. You got 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, you study a little bit. Go to class. Hurry, Zoe, go! Do good. Oh, let's select an agency for Ren as well. I don't know which agencies are the best. Oh, Zoe put in enough work to get a decent grade out of the class. Okay, well that's good. Let's do well-suited talent agency and then let's find a gig. She maxed pretty much every single skill so I really don't see her having an issue with anything. Um, she needs to do her homework for analog robotics in the digital world. You guys, I'm like, I'm freaking out a little bit. This is, <laughs> this is so much work. Okay, let's do what pays the most. This one down here, charisma level five. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Okay, and then Stella, when do you have work? 20 hours and you still need Gardling level five. So let's uh, let's come out here and do that. Oh, she's cute. I think the gardening a career suits her. She's just, she loves the outdoors. She's just a cute bean. I don't know what else to say. La it's the last day of class today. That means that she needs to give her presentation as well. <gasps> oh crap, yikes. A, B, F, and D plus. Someone's definitely not graduating with honors. Holy cannoli. Oh, uh, yes. Let's sign up for another term. Four classes. Oh my gosh. Oh, well. It is what it is. We did, we did what we could. There you go. Level five. Good girl. I swear we did better than that, but I guess not. Well, I'm definitely going to focus more this time around on her studies for sure. <laughs> you guys are probably yelling at me through the screen. Oh, Brucey, you did your project. Good boy. Okay, it's Leslie's turn now. You're gonna help her with hers now, okay? Oh, Stella has a talent point. That's what's up. Oh yeah, we were working on this branch, so let's just keep going. So this one is casting spells no longer fails when the sim is in normal spellcaster charge range. Backfires are greatly reduced in charge and in charge and overcharged states. Okay. All right. Dope. We've almost completed the whole tree. That's crazy. 
That is so crazy, but I'm stoked. Ren, let's come out here and super sell the orchids again. Get all that money back that we gave to <laughs> Luna for moving out. These two girlies are working on the garden together. This is what I've always wanted since the very beginning of Legacy. I've always wanted taking care of the garden to be like a family thing. And it finally is. It makes me really happy that Bruce has someone to grow up with. Um, they're both working on their mental skill right now, just playing chess together. It's so very cute. I always wish I had someone, like a sibling, to do everything with. Okay, so it looks like Charlie has a family club already. So I'm gonna add Luna and Felix to this club. Also, one of you guys in the comments said that I should create a club with everyone in the household. I'm just gonna call this household <laughs> because I'm so creative like that. <laughs> So we're gonna add Stella, we're gonna add Zoe, we're gonna add F Leslie and Bruce. Oh, it looks like we can fit Ren as well. Okay, and then um, no requirements, but for club activities, do things like sleep, bathe, like all of the normal things that Sims do. Clean, bathe, um, be friendly to each other, do homework. And so you can keep the club gathering going like all day and they'll quickly like earn club points and then there's a bunch of rewards that will help us um, skill build faster. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start a gathering and keep it running. <laughs> and hopefully it'll benefit us in some way, we'll see. All right, Charlie. Well, I guess since you're not really doing anything, why don't we work on your fitness skill? So come outside and dream big a bunch. And then what do we got on the calendar? Tomorrow is Bruce's birthday, and today is Halloween. Oh my gosh, you guys, I totally forgot to get Stella to take a pregnancy test. We just wasted... Oh, did we wait? It's still 10 days, so she's probably pregnant, but I don't know. I don't know. Are you pregnant? You have to be. You're fertile. You literally have to be. What? What just happened? Okay, there we go. It was just very, very, very delayed. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, Charlie, guess what? I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Are you happy? Heck yes, I'm happy. Our family's just growing. It's getting bigger and bigger every day. That's what I'm talking about. Love that for you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Oh, Ren's audition is in an hour. Okay, uh, her ideal mood is confident, so I'm gonna get her to, um, um boost confidence in the mirror let's can she psych herself up yes let's do that playful no i need you to be confident okay it didn't make her confident she's just playful now but she's off to her audition good luck ren i know you're gonna get it i was thinking about doing this thing where uh in one episode you know how okay let me try and put this into words so I can, uh, so it can be clear what I'm trying to say. You know how in some shows, like, they did it in Euphoria and they do it in a few other ones, but it's like, there's like a special episode that's dedicated to one character to, like, work on backstory and just, like, focus on them a little bit. And, like, every episode is dedicated to a certain character. I was kind of thinking maybe we could do that in here. Like, one episode will just focus on Charlie. Of course, we'll like do things with the other Sims too, but like our main focus will be Charlie. And then the next episode, our main focus will be Stella. Aww. She's sad from being pregnant and wounded from feeling, feeling hurt by someone nearby. I still don't know what that's from. Um, anyway, and then the next episode will be just, just Zoe and then Ren and then Bruce and then Leslie, etc, etc. I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, so you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments what you think about that. Yes, of course audition passed. I didn't doubt you for a second. That was an impressive audition. Ren and we, and uh, Ren, and we are not the only ones who thought so. The studio sent all the other potentials home after your audition. They didn't need to see anyone else. Wow. Good job, Ren. Look at her. She's feeling good right now. When is, uh, when is it? Seven on Wednesday. Okay, so tomorrow night. Develop friendship with co-star, practice romantic scenes. Okay. Invite over director and co-stars. Okay, let's do that. Oh my god, so many random people in the house. <gasps> Bruce Max's mental skill. What a good boy. Is this one of your co-stars? 
Okay, uh, let's give him a cheerful introduction then. All right, I'm gonna get her to perform a romance scene with her. I think this is one of her co-stars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perceived as basic looking. Ooh, Ren thinks she's basic, but I'm gonna get her to perform the romance scene anyways. Oh, shoot, this girl, that girl's a spellcaster. Oh, wow, all right, nice, nice. Wait, what did that, ask to overlook issues, $50? That's actually hilarious, but I think we're fine. I actually don't think that we're gonna have a party, but I'll put the kids in, um, I'll put the kids in costumes just, just so they're happy about it. Let's see how many club points we have so far. Holy cannoli, 1,127. Wow, okay, let, let's buy something. What would benefit us? We can get so many already. Ooh, homework boost, yes, 100%. Let's do fitness boost since we're working on Charlie's fitness skill. Let's do, uh, let's do mental skill for the kids. Ooh, parenting boost, yes. Okay, I think we're out of points now, but I think we'll definitely get them. Like, we'll, we'll uh, earn more very fast. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much to whoever commented that and suggested it. That's amazing. It's perfect. So unfortunately, you guys, I have to leave now. I'm like running out of time. So I have to end this part right here. I'm really sorry if it's like super short and super uneventful, but you know what? We're getting things done. <laughs> I miss Luna already. I cannot wait to see what Stella has. I hope they're twins. Fingers crossed. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna cheat. So it's gonna be a complete surprise. And Zoe's first term was not the best, but I'm gonna try my hardest to, to get that GPA up so she graduates with a decent grade. Or graduates with a decent GPA, I mean. So in the next episode, we are going to be aging up Bruce. We're going to be celebrating Harvest Fest. We are going to be uh aging up charlie oh my god I, we might have to adopt the last three kids we'll see how that goes but oh my gosh wow time flies we're gonna be losing charlie soon i am not mentally prepared for that i'm really not Ugh, stella does have a lot of time left though so i'm so sad Ooh, talent showcase. Yes, we can go there and Charlie can do some of his comedy as well. I think that would be fun. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Leave me comments. Let me know how you feel about Luna and everything else going on. I'm just, I'm getting emotional because like, it's like this generation's like coming to a close slowly but surely. Also, let me know what you guys think about having like an episode dedicated to one sim and uh, we can just like go through all the sims in the household. Let me know what you feel about that and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. The next one's gonna be the last episode of Mystical Motherhood. Emotions running high right now, guys. <laughs> I love you so much and I'll see you then. Bye!